Twilight Sparkle earns the feature box. In the serene warm darkness of the cantonet, Twilight Sparkle lay, observing her audience. So, murmured the audience, tell me the name of your story. Twilight felt a bright, heady flush built on her face and chest. Well, she said, the words coming quickly, pouring out of her like water. It's called The Star Shall Aid in Her Escape. And it's a self-insertion Princess Luna fiction where I make out with Princess Luna. You see, I notice that there's a lot of fiction out there where I romance Luna, but not a lot of stories where we're actually, um, doing it on the page. She scratched the back of her neck with one hoof. And most of those are, like, three ways with Princess Celestia. She continued, more to fill the awkward silence than anything else. And I mean, I really like Princess Celestia and everything. It's just that... Hush, said the audience, with gentle amusement. There's no need to preface your story that extensively. Just let it stand on its own merits. I'm sure it's a beautiful story. You think so? Said Twilight, bashfully. I've always imagined it that at least, admitted the audience, looking a little sheepish. I've long fantasized about seeing a story from you. Ever since you activated your fanfic site account, I would see you commenting on other ponies' stories, and those comments were very thorough and erudite, and above all, literate. And I kept thinking to myself, why doesn't this talented young mare write a story of her own? Sometimes I would sit awake at night, wondering what reading one of your fanfics would be like. And now, here we are. Yes, said the audience, smiling. Are you ready to show me your story? You don't have to, I won't push you. No, said Twilight, shaking her head. No, I want to. I want to expose the works of my hooves to you for your criticism and approval. I want to hear all your opinions. Are you sure? said the audience. My criticism can be vociferous. I'm sure, she said. All right, said the audience, leaning itself back against the darkness. With a quiet flicker of pixels, Twilight published her story for the audience to see. The audience smiled. Oh, yes, it said. Hmm, you opened with a quote from a classic text. Very scholarly. Thank you, said Twilight, blushing. I really enjoy predictions and prophecies, but I hesitated on the quote. I was afraid it might come across as stealing somebody else's thunder. Incidentally, do you think the title is double meaning enough? I wanted to call it, and the star shall aid in her release, because, you know, the word release can mean an erotic thing, too. But I wanted to accurately reproduce the quote from the- ah! Twilight startled. What was that? I like, said the audience. A part of me liked your story. But you haven't even read the whole thing yet, said Twilight. How do you know you like it? Let's just say I have a feeling about it. A little premature, if you ask me said Twilight, dubiously. Okay, okay, said the audience, chuckling. Guilty as charged. Here, let me finish the reading. And so Twilight Sparkle watched as the audience began devouring her words, slowly at first, and then, with increasing vigor as its enthusiasm for her fiction waxed and grew, she shuddered at the audience's interest in her text. She'd heard stories of audiences reading stories, of course, what young Philly hadn't. But having her very own audience reading her story was, well, words could not describe. It was the difference between the lightning bug and the actual lightning. Those stories about stories were nothing like actual stories were, if that made any sense. The experience was over too quickly for Twilight's taste. She acted for more peer assessment. Merely having her story read, however exhaustively, was no longer enough for the young librarian. At the risk of overreaching, of fishing for praise, she blinked in an academic fashion at her audience. So, she whispered, did you like my story? A jolt coursed through her fiction as the audience clicked on its like button. Fundamentally, it felt much like it had before. But now, with the added depth of knowing that the audience had read and enjoyed her story, the whole story, from head to toe, it made Twilight Sparkle positively beam with pride. She clamped her teeth together in an attempt to suppress a delighted squeal. Oh yes. With a flicker of mouse clicks, more likes followed the first, raising her approval level to heights of public affirmation she had never before achieved. It seemed obvious in retrospect. Yes, she had worked through and proofread her own stories in the privacy of her own home, and had been satisfied with the results. But it was nothing compared to having a real audience critique her. 
She was on the verge of declaring all the poets of history correct in singing their endless and adoring praise of literary criticism when there was a sharp and unpleasant red tingle in her authorhood. Twilight Sparkle recoiled from it. Ow! She said. The audience retreated. I'm sorry, it said. What in the hay was that? She demanded. A dislike, said the audience. A little part of me didn't approve. Of what? Said Twilight, desperately, feeling a pit open beneath her stomach. Was it the character voice? Some problem with the topography? Did you just not like the me and Luna pairing? The audience shrugged, apologetically. Sadly, it's impossible to say without an associated comment. Is this how it's always going to be? Twilight asked, hating the plaintive note in her voice. Sometimes it's going to hurt, yes, said the audience. Sometimes it's going to hurt a lot. But, stars is a good story. It shouldn't have been very much. I'm sorry, said Twilight. It's just, it's just my first time posting. I didn't know that it would hurt, too. I... I don't want to unpublish it now. Not after all those likes. Nor should you, whispered the audience soothingly. I'll try and be gentle. Okay, said Twilight, stiffening her lip. The audience clucked his tongue. Don't look that way, it said, rolling over. Let me show you something you really enjoy. The audience teased its mouse pointer over the shell-colored bar on top of her story. What? said Twilight, craning her neck to see. The audience was hovering its mouse pointer over a faint outline of a star, perched next to its likes-dislikes indicator. Ooh, is that a star? She said. I like stars. You really like this then, said the audience. It's called a fave. With gentle, imposing firmness, the audience clicked down. Twilight gasped as a tiny prick of the mouse pointer touched the delicate button of her fave star, causing it to flare bright gold. Oh, oh, Celestia, she moaned. Good, right, said the audience. It's amazing, stammered Twilight, the normally verbose unicorn suddenly at a loss for words. Not only am I getting approval for my story, I'm getting entries in my notifications menu, and... And... Twilight moaned. Uh... Hmm? Said the audience. Email alert. Whispered Twilight. I just got an email about your fave. Good. Said the audience. That's exactly right. Twilight blinked at the audience. Her voice when it came was small and fall like Could you... She said. Could you fave me again? Yes! <laughs> shouted Twilight as the audience clicked at her story's fave button over and over again. Yes! Yes! Fave me! Fave me harder! Only, said the audience, gasping, if you email me updates to this story. Twilight Sparkle's voice quavered, somewhere between a moan and a veil. But this is a one-shot! I've marked it complete! Sequel! demanded the audience, momentarily losing mastery of its shift key. Mwah! You're... you're not even spelling your comments correctly, said Twilight, her mood cracking as she tried in vain to keep from laughing at the audience's lack of self-control on the keys. <laughs> I, I can't help it, <laughs> said the audience, laughing breathlessly <laughs> right along with her. I just... I just like your story that much! <laughs> the audience groaned in mock frustration. Oh. Well, I don't know what to do for myself anymore. Where do we go from here? A slight look crossed the lavender unicorn's face. She leaned in close to the audience. Feature box. She whispered. She felt the audience tremble. Oh, yes, said the audience. Oh, God, yes. You know what you have to do, said Twilight, her voice sultry. The feeling of being in this much control over her captive audience was... Delicious, smooth, and dark, like melted chocolate. But she could only save the feeling for so long before the audience began working her favorites button with the vigor that only a really enthusiastic and committed group of functionally anonymous Canternet spectators possessed, and her world was lost to the electric burn of positive feedback. A tiny rational part of Twilight's mind. She was a scientist, after all, and no amount of joyful artistic enthusiasm could wholly extinguish that fact quietly calculated how many likes and faves and comments she needed to reach the feature box. It couldn't be long now. If the good reviews kept coming in at this rate, and if she could just avoid the dislikes for a few more minutes, 
She couldn't possibly believe that it would take that much longer for her. And then it happened. So busy has she been analyzing the comments that the actual moment of featuring came upon her quite by surprise. A burst of critique out of nowhere that thrust the story straight upward from the top of the most read list directly to the delicious white box in the title bar. She cried out in sharp ecstasy as her story's position on the feature box exposed it to all kinds of new audience. Parts of the audience she hadn't even seen or dared to dream about. Waves of public approval rocked Twilight's fragile body as even the casual portions of the fanfic site's traffic, the ones who's only stopped in every once in a while and never delved too deep into the mass of ponyfic, noticed her story and began liking and faving and commenting her. And the cascading effect of all these glowing reviews served only to maintain her story on the feature box as she hit her position of literacy prominence over and over and over again. Twilight Sparkle's world went away from some time. When sense and reason finally returned, once her story had receded from the feature box, leaving behind a five-page trail of comments and a warm green line of up bumps that dwarfed the tiny sliver of red beneath it, Twilight rolled over and gazed at her audience, her deep purple eyes sparkling enough to do full justice to her last name. So, she said, Should I rate another? Yes, whispered the audience. You're on my watch list now. Good, said Twilight, snuggling up. Because I know exactly what my next one's about. Twilight Sparkle's eyes flickered open. Ugh. She said, gazing up at the ceiling of her cozy little library loft. <laughs> wow. Way to go, Sparkle. She thought. That'll teach you to eat an entire roll of pickle sushi with extra ginger right before nighty night. What a dream. Somewhere at the foot of Twilight's bed, then came a murmur. Spike, whispered Twilight sitting up in the darkness. I'm sorry, Spike. Did I wake you with all that? Spike muttered again, nonsensically. Oh, good, thought Twilight. He's just talking in his sleep. She rolled out from beneath her astronomy print comforter, got to her hooves, tipped hoofed quietly to the foot of the bed, and leaning close to Spike's little dragon basket, smiling. Spike snorted. For a moment, his words became intelligible. Oh, Equestria Daily Readership, muttered Spike. But what rarity, think? I'm here too, darling, said Spike, then his voice going kind of squeaky. B both of you, said normal voice Spike, at the same time. And then he was lost to incoherency again. Twilight chuckled. <laughs> oh, Spike, she said walking quietly again so as not to disturb him from what was undoubtedly a very lexically satisfying dream. Twilight crossed back to her bedside and slipped beneath the covers once more. She lay there for a time, staring up at the hoiled wooden ceiling of the library. She still wasn't sure what the canternet in her dream was, and had never once met a mouse that clicked. But yes, she had critiqued stories she had read and given feedback to their authors. But she's never written a fiction of her own. She'd read writing process manuals, of course, books on unleashing your inner creative urge, but it had never gone anywhere. What would it be like to write a story of your own? Twilight flipped back the covers, got up and crossed over to a writing desk and lit a single candle. There, in the warm darkness of a Ponyville summer night, Twilight Sparkle took up her quill, gently wrapping her matching around the soft, loose afterfeathering at its base. She dipped it once, twice, three times into the tiny brass ink pot, and then suspended the pen in front of her and then suspended the pen in front of her for a moment, watching a bead of her ink glimmer in the tip of fucking hell. And then suspended the pen in front of her for a moment, watching a bead of her ink glimmer at the tip like a jewel in the candlelight. With a smile of firm determination, Twilight Sparkle touched pen to paper and got to work.